Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is a 20 part video series showing you how to create BJOS house. Let's get started. So to start, let's open a new architecture template. So click on new, go to the drop down, and then click on architecture template, and then press OK. First, we're going to add in some grid lines. So under architecture, we have the grid line right here. You can type in GR, and then click from the bottom up to the top. Make sure it's 90 degrees, as you can see there earlier. Press escape, and then escape. So if you click from top to bottom, you could just click here and then click on check so that you could see the grid bubble. So you could do that um, if you want to. Press escape and then now zoom in again and then click on the grid line. We can then use copy command so that we could copy um, three more grids. Um, you can go to under modify we have the copy command right here or you can type in co and then after that grab it and then pull it to the right now you will need to type in 4070 And then now, the reason that we cannot copy it again is because we forgot to click on multiple. So now you can click on CO again or click on this um, icon under modify. Now what you have to do is you need to check multiple so that we could add multiple. So grab it from here and pull it again on the right side and then type in 4470 and then move it again on the right side and then type in 1100 so press escape and then escape again as you can see this is um, overlapping each other so what you have to do is you have to click it and then you could click on this to add the elbow as you can see, it added an elbow so that you will be able to see everything correctly and nothing is overlapping. You can then drag it from here if, you're ha if you want it on the left side or the right side. So you'll be able to um, customize it uh, whatever you want. So here as well, let's click on this icon. It's a small zigzag that uh, adds you an elbow. So it recognizes that we want it on the right side. And if you don't want it, you just need to click it again and then drag it. So depending on what you want. So now press escape and then escape again. Type in GR again. That's for grid line. And then now we're going to add it. We're going to add the horizontal grids. So now we're going to go from right side to left side. So just add one for now. Press escape. I'm going to click, click it again and then click on the bubble. And then zoom here. And what I'm going to do is we're going to edit the grid uh, bubble so that we could uh, change it to a capital A so zoom out and then now as you can see um, we have a letter A here and then you can just click it and then click on copy command under modify and then grab it, it grab it and then pull it down first we're gonna put in 775455 five, five, 
and then next will be four five ninety five and then last will be two four five five press escape and then escape again now we have everything um, added uh, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna move everything in the middle so that everything is in center so the reason that we're moving this so that everything will be seen from our elevation points so this is our elevation points and then if you have it from here everything that you make here won't be seen so you need to move it. So this is something that is movable. So press escape a couple of times. And then now what we could do is we could go to our elevation. This, this will be our south elevation. And then just double click it there. And then we're going to edit this, the height of our uh, level 1 to level 2. We're just going to click it here. And then... We're going to put 3,000. So that will be fine. And then you can click it here and then click on copy command. So the difference between doing this is once we create this, um, you will need to show the floor plan level 3 here. And there's a couple of, um, what do you call this, um, steps to do that. So I'm going to uh, show you both of them. So here I'm going to click it, type in CO, pull it up, and then type in 3000. So once you create that, you have our level 3, but your levels are not here yet. So you will need to go to view and then go to plan views, floor plan. And then you will need to highlight that and then click OK. And then once you click OK, you will be able to see level 3 right there. So as you can see, you have the level 3 there. Let's go back here, undo it. And then I will, I'm going to show you another way that you, you bypass this step again. And that is by just adding level. So it's under architecture. You can type in LL. So we can type in LL or click here. And the difference with between this is you will need to add it manually yourself. So as you can see, there's a temporary dimension that is showing there. You'll be able to see your height. And then here, you just need to do it like that. And automatically, it will um, add the level there. So both ways will do. But what I usually uh, do is the create option because it's faster uh, for my part because you don't need to do left and right. And also, it's very simple to just go to view and then click on plan view. But um, it depends on how you want it. At least you know the two ways to do it. Now, we need to click here and stretch it a bit. Um, this is overlapping. Um, make sure you don't overlap anything like that so that everything is visible. So we just need to add a, a le ledge this one. So now everything is good. Uh, go back to level one. And make, want to make sure that everything is done. Uh, what we can do now is go to architecture or sorry, go here, and then uh, you can type in DI or align dimension. Um, what we, we could do here is we could add in our dimensions. So I'm adding our dimensions at the moment like that, and then add it like this. Uh, what we could do is we could click one of this, and then we could stretch it. And as you can see, it provided a temporary dashed line that indicates that once you put one up, everything will follow. 
So that's very useful. So now we have our dimension. We could pull this down so that we could have everything lined up. Um, what we could do here is click one of this again and then just drag it. Let's drag it so that you can see that this is all um, moving all together because of that uh, dash line. Now, uh, let's add in the dimensions as well. So you need to do add the dimension so that first is for your um, benefit so that you will see all your um, dimensions when you're creating your space. And also um, benefit for that is so that uh, you guys can follow. So at least you can pause your vi this video and then you'll see the dimension that I create and then you'll be able to follow. I press escape multiple times and then you want to make sure that you save your file. So I'm going to save it. So you want to make sure you save your file. So I just saved mine. And then now what we could do is we could add in our wall. So I'm going to click on wall. And then right here, it went to basic wall generic 200 millimeters. So for new uh, Revit, um, I believe the basic wall doesn't have any more. So what what you mostly have is the one with already have all the um, assemblies included. So you can choose that as well. What you need to do is just click on edit type and then duplicate that. We're going to call this exterior wall. Wall number one. Press OK. And then you need to go to edit and then we need to remove. So we just need to remove everything. Uh, we're, we're not going to be able to move the core boundaries and the structure. So now we could just delete that. Delete this. And then we could just leave this one in the middle. And then now we could just change the thickness. I'm going to do is 200 or 150 and then for here we're just going to change it to a different material um, let's say clad white i'm going to press ok and then ok so our exterior thickness is 150 and then press ok again so now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to add in our wall but before we do that, you will need to change this. So as you can see, it's unconnected and it's under uh, up to eight thousand. As you can, uh, as you remember, when we did our elevation, um, we set the level one to level two as three thousand, and then level two to level three are three thousand as well. So what we need to do now is once you click on wall again. You can change it from here and then from there as well. So as you can see, we want it from level one to level two. So we're just gonna click it there and click apply. So now it, now it will set to level two as well. So you can change it in multiple areas right here. So this, is, if you change it here, it will change it right here. So vice versa. So this is very useful. And then we're going to use wall center line. So I want my wall to be centered on the grid line. And then chain is already checked. So we're good with that. So now what we can do is we go to uh, A1. So A1 and then going up to A3. Go down. And then we need to go and surpass um, right here. Um, we need to type in 54. So 5400, so 5400. And then now we need to pull it 
on the left side around 500 will be good enough so you can type in 500 from there and then go down up to this spot so the b grid line so once you're there you would need to go to b4 so click it here so now just to repeat 5400 500 and this one just pull it down all the way to the grid line b and then from here turn right turn right to b4 which is right here so now what we need to do is we need to go down to c uh, this one is c four and then go right here up to r c2 and then going down to d2 and then we're going to stop it there after that let's go to d1 so we're going to start the d1 and then all the way to a1 again so now it's closed right here what we're going to do is we're going to click b1 going to b2 and then what we could use here is we could just type in tr that's stream and extend under modify and then click on here and then there so now everything will be just one single um one single wall so that's much better press escape and then escape again so i'm just gonna click on here and then we're going to click on this temporary dimension because i want to move it on the right side so just type in 7370 and then there we go we will have a double uh car um carport this will be our entrance stairs will be located right here and then kitchen and then family room so let's stop here for now and continue on the next video thank you for watching and hope you like the video please hit like and subscribe feel free to comment down below